Alright, now there was no review for this guy. I've never done a review before. I don't even know if people normally review bronze players on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team, but I decided to do it anyway. Um, this is my review for the in-form version of Lamar Neagle. He plays in Major League Soccer for the Seattle Sounders. His non-rare, or his non-in-form, is, is as a left midfielder. I um, feel like he's a pretty decent striker. You see there, 86 pace, 66 shot, decent dribbling. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing, as I would review, um, a typical a bronze player, because obviously they aren't as good as um, silver or gold players, so you can't really look at them the same way. Um, some things to note, four-star weak foot, three-star skills. Um, he's pretty good at dribbling. Um, if you, The way you're going to have to dribble with him is mainly by using precision dribbling. Um, 86 pace, 86, 88 acceleration, and sprint speed, so... His stats for his pace are pretty good. 82 shot power as well. He's 5'11". Um, decent dribbler, like I said, for his height. Um, and he's right-footed. Um, if we got to look at pros, um, like I said, he's a pretty good dribbler. Um, not really... He doesn't have a lot of skill moves in his arsenal because he has three-star skills, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. thought he was pretty good at precision dribbling. Um, he's a good finisher around the area. Got some good long shots as well. I scored a, a shot from outside the area, probably 20, 25 yards away. Um, so he's very good there. He's pretty, pretty, um, pretty consistent shooting, and his left foot very good in the area as well. If you're trying to score goals. Um, with that being said, he does go. I think I paid 115,000 coins on the Xbox 360. So if that's worth it to you to have a have a uh, an informed player on your bronze team, then by all means go ahead. Um, um, th there are a few cons I had with him. Um, first off, I mean his selling point, and for most players that are silver or bronze, um, he has 86 pace. Personally, um, I didn't see it. You know, I don't. I think it might have been a little lower. It didn't feel like he had 86 pace on his card. Felt a little lower, like 82, like 81, 82. Just, I mean, that is a significant difference. It did not feel like 86 at all. Um, either I was playing against fast players or players who had been um, had the player upgrade consumable cards. Um, I'm not sure, but he just didn't feel like um, an 86 overall player. Not the greatest of passing. Um, not that big a deal though. He's a striker. He's not a he's not a midfielder. But uh, here's that nice long shot I was talking about here. Uh, not that far away, but pretty good nonetheless right in the corner. Um, the other bad point about him that I found, um, he has high attacking and high defensive work rate. Um, from the website I saw, I went to FootWiz and looked it up. To see. I was, wasn't sure if he had any traits or anything, and he doesn't. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he was occasionally around midfield. Um, it's kind of weird, not really where you want your striker to be. That was the only problem I had. Um, so, pretty good all-around player. Um, is he worth 115000 I would say no. Um, I feel like you can even buy decent bronze strikers for 5000 Um So the pros, good dribbling, he's good finisher in and around the area with both feet, four-star weak foot, good long shots, powerful shooting, and like I said, um, his negatives, he does not feel like he has 86 pace, and his high and high work rates do um, hinder him a little bit. If you'd like to see more of these, um, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably have another career mode video out soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.